Hello friends, my name is Ankush. In this video, we are going to see about the introduction of the Oracle Data Guard and the uses of the Oracle Data Guard. Oracle Data Guard is mainly useful for the disaster recovery purpose, or in other term, you can call it as a business continuity plan. Let me take one of the examples so that you can see, you can understand in a better way. Let's say there is one database as a test DB which is available in India. And because of some uncertain situation, my database is getting down or maybe it is, a, we can call it as earthquake or flood or anything. So because of that only what is happening, my database got crashed. So whatever the connection which are coming to this test DB database that won't get proceed. Maybe some transition uh, which user want to do, but as the database is not up and running, that transition will not be happen, right? Because the database is not available. Now my database is crash, and let's say I, we do have the Arman backup also. So what will happen by using this Arman backup we can restore the, our database and database will go up straight. Now my database is used for the uh, ready to use for the user connection. But what about the timing when the database was down, when the database was restoring because restoration is also taking the time. Again it is depend on the database size. If the database size is very high then the restoration will take a lot of time. So this is the downtime for the user when the database was restoring and the when database was crash. To avoid this situation because we are the DBA which are whole and sole responsible for database data availability and data security right. To ensure that every user to ensure every user should get the data on the time itself oracle have come up with the situation called data guard so let me take this slide for you here you can see there are the two sites the first one is the primary site and second one is a standby site okay so what is happening whatever the connection which are coming to the primary database now my first database is up and running primary site database is up and running okay let's say in the data card setup let me uh, tell you about what is happening in the data card setup whatever the changes you are going to do on the primary database okay the same changes is going to reflect on the standby database and this changes is going to reflect on the standby database. If my primary database is getting down, still I have the standby database up and running where the user connection will be proceed. So this is one of the backup plan we do have which are available in terms of Oracle Data Guard. And here you can see one of the data card broker which is one of the one utility provided by the oracle through which you can monitor this data card setup i hope you understand the concept of the oracle data card basically this data card is used for the disaster recovery we do have the primary database and we can have a multiple standby database for this whatever the changes you are doing on the primary database that is going to reflect on standby database if in case primary database is getting down still we do have the standby database side which are available and the user connection can be proceed with this standby database again there is some concept like switcher and failover that we are going to see in the next video thank you so much for watching this video for uh, training purpose also you can contact me i have already shared my contacts uh, 
please subscribe and like my channel i will come up with some next video maybe on data guard itself thank you so much bye bye